Alrighty, hello guys. So they're bringing you some Light Sworn replays here for you. And yes, you guys all know this Zacky Deck Light Sworn. It's really good in game one and then loses in game two, right? But yeah, I didn't play any matches, but you know, I just didn't really feel like it because for whatever reason, Dev Pro does not like me doing matches, so I'm just not going to do that. So yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about Light Sworn since, you know, the new Light Sworn support has been revealed and how they're getting two different tuners, a level four and a level three. Plus there's going to be like some broken Light Sworn Synchro, because I, it hasn't revealed its effect yet, but I know it's going to be broken. Like, why wouldn't it be, since Konami makes every, like, big boss monster they make now super broken? If I had to guess what it would do, I would say that it would, like, recycle cards, like, you can shuffle three of your Light Sworn cards from your graveyard to your deck, because I feel like if it says mill three to draw one, that would be way too broken. I think Konami would be a little bit smarter than that. I don't know though. So maybe it'd be something like a little Avarice. That's the only thing I could guess. But yeah, um, let's be showing off some of the cooler plays you can do in this deck. And that sometimes you can mill out real quick. But um, I only lost one of the games I've been playing. Um, I kept that replay too. And if you had to guess what deck it would be, what, get, what deck would you guess? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing a little bit of spoilers here, but I lost to Conceivable Swarm. Because this, the first turn, Ophion is just really, it's just really solid play, and even with Raikou, you know, there's only so much you can do. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not even like the Ophion effect was annoying. It's just the huge beaters is so annoying because all of the Evil Swarm monsters are just really high attack, and if you can't get a monster on the field, you really lose to it. So yeah, um, you're gonna see my deck change a little bit. Um, in this one, I know I'm playing a Fader. And then I'm playing double maxi triple Valor because I am playing like the one light tray, so I figured you better have Valor before you'll have maxi because you need more um, lights in the graveyard with different names. So I just play one light tray because I don't really think you need like you probably could squeeze in like one or two more light trays, but I kind of don't really like them as much just because I feel like it's kind of gimmicky and you have triple JD plus BLS like what other boss monsters do you need? But yeah, I'm just going to try out that one light tray, and it doesn't seem horrible so far. And some of the games I'm playing two light trays, but I ended up taking one of those out for a battle fader, and I'll show you guys the deck profile at the end. So yeah. Uh, so here's, there's that game. Um, so we beat Chaos Dragons. Uh, I don't, I don't remember any misplays. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to point them out. But yeah, this next one's against Evil Swarm. Um, I'm on the other side. You know, it was like a really sacky version too, as you can see. And I know that Solemn Warning comes into key later. Like, it just hurts so much. Because this hand I have, this really isn't that bad, because I have the Recharge. Like, if you play Lights One often, you know that Recharge, it's just like an auto-win card. It's just like a... it's so good. <laughs> it just helps you set up your graveyard so well. Like, how I just got rid of all those Garros and stuff. But yeah, that Warning hurt a lot, because I was going to attack into with Honest. But since I don't get to keep my monster, he has a free cert on play or whatever. It seems like every time I play against Evil Swarm, they always have this play. Caster, it was Cerceon, and then use Cerceon to add back whatever monster they used to make the previous Ophion. And it's just such a good play, especially since I get to deal all of this damage, and there's not really anything I can do about it. Yeah, this was a duel where I was playing multiple light trays, and I decided that maybe sometimes you need a fader, so I decided to put fader in because the BLS, and if you mill it, um, it'll be a dark for you. Because right now the only darks I really run are um, Zephyros and like Necro Gardeners. And Necro Gardeners, you don't really want to mill those. I mean, you don't really want to use those for BLS because it's a really good effect actually. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, and then uh, uh, Zephyros, you don't really want to banish that until you use its effect. And in one of these games I'm showing you a really cool uh, play you can do with Zephyros. It's really like Lumina and then discard a card act or get Lila. Then Lila pop the back row, then use Zephyros, bounce Lumina back to your hand, and then go for level 4 in the form of Laval Chain, most likely, because Laval Chain helps set up your graveyard a lot. And in that game, um, you'll saw that I summoned the Light Tray really late, and that's because I had to get another Light name in the graveyard in the form of Honest, so I couldn't summon it immediately, which is what I want to do. And as you can see, I named this one Exodia, but it turns out it's not even Exodia. It's some type of weird uh, Blasting the Ruins deck. I'm guessing that he's, the whole objective is to like use all of your cards and then activate three Blasting the Ruins to damage your opponent with 9,000 damage. And you'll see that he doesn't get it off. But the thing is, he makes me wait 25 minutes, so I'm definitely going to leave him there. Uh, his name is Just Danny, if you're interested. 
but yeah, I hate decks like this because I watch them play for 25 minutes, and the second I do anything, they quit. So that's just wonderful. So yeah, you're gonna keep watching him play. It was a pretty interesting deck, I guess, but he's just a kind of a dick in general. So yeah, he didn't even say anything. It was just it was so annoying how I had to watch him play this long, even in um, the replay form where it's like three times faster. It's really long, as you can see. So I just had to watch him keep playing and keep playing, and it's so boring. So yeah, that's why Exodia decks and Final Countdown burn. All of them are the same, they're just silly little stall decks that are really boring. And if you heard me say boring, um, yeah, that's the main point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was sitting on that Valor for a long time because I knew that Royal Library was going to be showing up. And there was more I wanted to talk about. Uh, like, with the new Lightsworn supporters, like, those cards are going to be so broken. Because JD is going to be live so much more often because you have so many more names. Because usually most Lightsworn players like play 6 to 7 names, sometimes even 8, but now with the two new names, you can play an average of 8 to 10. <laughs> like, that's really good since you can mill off really quickly. And then see I use JD and he quits immediately. <laughs> so that's wonderful. And this one's against Fire Kings. Um, it's like a weird Fire King, Fire Fist build. Like, I know I've seen Fire Fist before with Fire Kings, but... This is a really weird build, build and I've seen him make a couple misplays, uh, so yeah. But yeah, what I was saying was the Light Swarms. Like, I feel like this deck's gonna change a lot when those cards come out. Like, you're gonna be changing... Like, Raikou is gonna be less good? <laughs> I don't know, it's good against Evil Swarms, so you really wanna side them. But, like, Raikou isn't even that necessary anymore because you wanna go- it's just a weird level. Because Lumina and, you know, all the other Light Swarms are either level 3 or level 4, which is usually what you want because those are good synchro numbers, plus you can overlay with them, so that's really good. <laughs> but Raikou is just the random level 2 that you don't really want, so you obviously don't, like, you wouldn't want to run it as many. I think right now I'm still running 2 Raikou, I've always felt like 2 Raikou is a good number, so yeah. And right there I derped with the black chip of corn because I realized that Yashka now has more attack than the black ship. And I realized it after I clicked Black Ship and you can't go back on it, so yeah, that's a problem. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and JD is going to be so much more live when those new cards come out because you only need four names. So that means you could probably squ squeeze in more Light Trays because they'll be live more often as well. And yeah, like for the Light Trays, you'll be running Valor plus like nine names. So you'll be pretty often you'll have Light Trays and Judgment Dragons just live everywhere. <clears throat> Sorry, but um, yeah, like right here, he goes for Tensu, summons a wolf bark, and then attacks instead of using the effect first. That didn't make much sense to me. Like, why wouldn't you do it first and get XYZ or something? But whatever, he's just gonna go for his own black ship and get rid of mine, which I didn't really care that much. And this was the duel where I went Lumina into Lila and then bounced Lumina back to my hand after popping a card for Zephyros and then overlaid to make a cool card. Of course, I messed up with it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Another card I wanted to talk about, Wolf. I was running two Wolves, but I just kind of felt like it was dead more often than I was milling it. So I just cut it down to one just for the name. Um, I'm not really liking Wolf that much anymore because if you run three, it's really dead. If you run two, it's, um, like you'll be drawing it more than you'll be milling it. And if you run one, it's just, you know, I feel like you have a lot more of a chance to not draw the thing. And if you do draw it, it's not that bad because you feel like you've gotten rid of it. So that's a card, I guess. Um, and then he goes for Baron. Oh, I thought I Valor it. Oh, I have Necrogar now, that's a thing. But yeah, between like the Necrogarness, the Maxis, the Valors, and then the one Fader I'm running, I feel like that's just a good balance. Because you have a lot of plays for, you know, your opponent. A lot of reactive plays, really. So yeah, that's Skype. <laughs> Hi, Skype. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's JD, and that's the game. Because, yeah. Because double JD is pretty good, and then Summon Honest, yeah. Um, as you'll see, I'm running Gold Sark in this, but I never draw the thing. I'm pretty sure I run Gold Sark. We'll have to see at the end. So I guess you'll see at the same time I will. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... Light Swords versus Ice Barriers. I play every game in ranked, by the way. So don't think that, um, I just went on unranked and dueled every random scrub I could find. These were all ranked duels, so yeah. So this hand is so dirty. Like, if you open double recharge, you should not lose a game. <laughs> I'm serious, it's so good. 
And then I get to go for Card Trooper. Card Trooper is a phenomenal card in Light Swarms. I'm running the Foolish Burial. I feel like this card could definitely be cut very easily. I mean, it's like you can send anything, it's just sometimes you don't really need it because you'll go through your plays by the time you draw the thing. So it's a really good card to open with, I guess, but the minus one really hurts. But yeah, sometimes it does help you just get in a lot of damage with Wolf. And if I feel like you're playing Foolish, you need to run at least two Wolf, most likely. But yeah, this Ice Barrier player actually did really good. And if I wouldn't have had this Veiler, I probably would have been hurting pretty badly, but yeah, he did really good. Um, so Ice Barrier is too bad, I heard, <laughs> for whatever reason. But, yeah, that's sarcasm. Uh, so let me see here. What are some more cards I want to talk about? Like, Luminous is going to be completely overpowered. Charge is going to be completely overpowered. So maybe, you know, I'll do another preemptive strike on either Lumina or um, Charge. Um, because Charge is just such a good card. Lightsworn should never have had a Surge card. Lightsworns are so good. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, another thing I want to talk about was, like, side deck cards. Since the second those new synchros and whatnot, or the new synchro cards come out, this deck's going to be everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome, just because I like Light Swarms, but whatever. Um, but I feel like your side deck, you're going to have to be running like the XYZ Encore, even though that card really isn't the greatest, but it's still a card, I guess. Um, and what else could you run? You need like Raikou on the side, most likely, because Evil Swarm's going to be the worst matchup, obviously. And Evil Swarms will be once again tier 1, because right now they're kind of tier 1, but it feels like people just don't like them as much anymore. But second these Light Swarm cards come out, people are going to be, you know, running light, or either running Light Swarm or running Evil Swarm. So yeah. Um, then you realize it was game, so that's right there. And this is against Ironclad Wolf. He's also playing Light Swarm, so we decided to have a Light Swarm off. And he's just playing a really cool version with the Malicious and Plague Spreader. I guess he was running 2 and 3. Um, you know, Mallies and Plagues. So it's good to see who's winning. Um, he's playing Trag, and I don't really like Trag and Light Swarms, but you know, it's really preference. Like, I could take out the um, one fader I'm running for Trag, but I just feel like Trag's not that good anymore because, you know, E Dragons are still a thing, and if you drop Trag, they'll just make Big Eye main phase 2 and take your Trag. And then sometimes they're even worse in how they wait a turn for you to summon something and then discard their own card to take yours. So yeah, I don't like Trag that much, and then Evil Swarms is dead, and I'd rather have a Fader. Um, I don't know, even if another Light Swarm matchup, they drop, you can drop Trag on them, just blow it up with JD. So there goes that. Um, and some more cards, uh, like uh, Monster Reincarnation. That card's pretty good, and so is Back in the Light, but I don't really bother with it most of the time. Just because you'll draw it at random times where you don't really want it, and Monster Re Reincarnation will be what I would run over. Uh, beckoning Light, just because Beckoning Light, you don't really want to get rid of your Veilers, and Maxis, and um, Gores, you know, so you don't really want to do that, so I just stick with the Monster Reincarnation, and if you're running Monster Reincarnation, you might as well run like Wolves and other cards you want to put in the graveyard, like Necrogar, or Plague Spreader, Mally, um, there's so many, but whatever. So yeah, he's doing his cool plays here, but um, like I said, I only lost one game, and I already showed you that one game, so there you go. <laughs> he's deciding to just push through Valor because he just wanted to show off his plays mainly, which is pretty cool, actually. And I waited forever to use that Valor because I knew that Levier was going to come eventually, so I decided to wait right there. And I didn't really care if he scrapped Dragon me because I had um, Necro, I think. Most likely, anyways. No, I didn't bother with it, whatever. And I have all these cards, and there's like nothing I can do except for Diablos. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna go for Recharge because you no, know, who needs Wolf in the hand? And then Diablos comes out. And sorry about this commentary; it's a little bit everywhere. But I'm just kind of saying things as they come into my head. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm forced to crash with um, Diablos because he would pop me anyways. So yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, Light Swarm sometimes just have a horrible like hands where you can't do anything with them because Card Trooper doesn't really help when you need to get rid of stuff, and then obviously you'll draw Necro Gardeners. You'll draw like the random Light Swarms you don't really need at the moment, like Aaron and Jane. And then the Zephyrus, you sometimes draw. But Zephyrus really is a good card in Light Swarm. Oh, okay. Hi, X-Craft chat. <laughs> Might be, but whatever. Um, then I was going to make Pallet Domino attack over it, and we're all good. So yeah, that's pretty much the game, because I don't know what else you would draw. I think he top decked like JD or something. I don't remember. But it's alright. Oh, uh, well, yeah, he did top deck JD, and there's nothing really he can do about it. He can just put it back on top with, uh, uh, Plague Spreader. My Skype is going crazy right now. 
Uh, so what else is there to talk about? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, see right, right here, I don't even have an answer to start us. Like what? I really don't. I have to wait and summon Neck or set Necro Gardener just to discard a Necro Gardener. Which really, in hindsight, I probably should have set Zephyr so I can protect that and then go for a level four. But it's okay, I can do it next turn if I want to. So I just got to deal with the Stardust and yeah, oh, Honest is pretty good. Honest is a ridiculously good card. And right here is where I decide to um, set a monster so I can go for a level four next turn. So yeah, and as you can see, I have one card left in my deck, so I have to win this turn or I lose. So we'll see what I can do here. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen many ways I could have won the game by now. But I end up deciding to go for Lumina because obviously I don't need any of these other cards. And like I drew all these other shitty cards before I drew the Lumina. So that's just wonderful. And then Zephyrus just combos really well. And I still run the Utopia just because it's honest. Like you can use honest with it. I think I run Pap too. If not, I'm supposed to be. So whatever. And then we got the last game here for you. It's the other lights one. Oh, I have one more, never mind. Uh, that game is really weird. Uh, I think I'm on this side, yeah. Alright, so we'll see what he does. He's running MSTs. I don't really like the MSTs. Um, they are really helpful. It's just, you have Lily, you have Raikou. But I feel like the Lance will just get it done. So I like, um, I like the Lance a lot more than the MSTs. And yeah, Card Trooper is just a really card strong opening card. So I always like going for that over top of like setting Raikou. The one reason why I'm starting to feel like Raikou is just falling off in popularity because flip effects just don't work anymore. They usually get popped before you even get a chance, especially if your opponent knows you're playing Light Swarm because they'll be very, very, you know, they don't really want to attack into that card because best case scenario, it's a Necro Gardener and you don't lose your card. <laughs> and then they get to, they get a free card in the graveyard. So yeah, you don't really want that. Um, so he's just going to set a Raikou. So we got Raikous everywhere around here. But yeah, I think I just end up summoning Necro Gardener because I'm guessing it's a Raikou, and I was right, and that's just how you play against Light Swarms, because you pretty much know what their cards are going to be. Like, if they set a card, it's most likely Raikou, and if not, it might be Necro Gardener or, like, another random card they want in the graveyard, but 9 times out of 10, it's Raikou. Well, let's change that statistic. We'll go with 8 out of 10. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, could he have went for a level 4 there? Like, a rank 4? No, he couldn't. Oh, well. That's weird. Uh, he had no level 4, that's very unfortunate for him. But yeah, the Lumina Garoth player, like the one I just got there, has more Skype messages for you. Um, that play is just really dirty. And he's gonna Lance me. I don't know why I didn't turn Trag into attack mode if he was gonna Lance. But it's alright. But yeah. Not once have you seen me mill a Light Swarm with Garoth, because that effect is really dirty. And how you get to draw a card, like how fair is that, right? Um, so yeah, he's playing more Light Trades than I am, I think. I think he's playing like two or three, I'm not sure. But yeah, that card's um, pretty dirty. I'm gonna mess up with Honest here. I, I forget how Honest works half the time. But yeah, it's just whoever uses Honest first wins, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, we're gonna wait and see. What do I do here? I go for the Light Tree. I don't really like Gear Freed as much as I like the um, Diablos. I just think he's a little bit better. Um, some more decks I wanted to run lately, like since the Blue Eyes cards are out, I want to try like for the TCG, I want to try more, um, you know, like Chaos Dragons, with Blue Eyes in it, and all those other dirty shenanigans, just some pretty cool stuff. And it goes for the Crimson Blader, but Necro Garden is just such a good card. That's the reason why it was at 2 or 1 at one point. I think it was at 2. Yeah, it was. Um, I feel like I cut Gold Sark. We're going to check that. I feel like I cut Gold Sark by mistake. No, Gold Sark's in here, I just never draw it. <laughs> Literally, out of all these games, I never drew Gold Sark. I wanted to show you guys how good Gold Sark is, though, because turn one, if you can Sark out for that charge or the recharge or the JD, those are really the only cards you look for. Unless you have, like, you know, like recharge, charge, JD, then you obviously want a Lumina. So, yeah, you can Sark out for Lumina. Or just, you know, another JD, it's up to you. But those are pretty much the only targets. And then we got one more game. It's water. I do make a pretty big misplay in this duel, I think. He's playing some like, weird cards. I wouldn't say weird, it's just like random cards, I guess. But he sets one, so I should be wary that it's Abyss Slim because that's like the only deck that ever sets turn one anymore. And this hand right here, pretty good, I would say. I ended up holding on to the Solar Recharge because I think I might want to use Aaron, so I decided not to do it. And then he set the MST, so yeah, that's his fault. 
Um, I just wanted to attack with Lumina because I didn't know what it would be. So I figured that I can attack into it, figure out what it is, and the next turn I can air in it. If it does survive that long. But he decides to summon Marksman and then makes a big misplay with attacking with uh, Marksman second. He should have went with it first because, yeah, he can kill Lumina that way. But he decided to be greedy. I guess he just forgot about Necro Garden. Because if he would have attacked with this first into Lumina, I would have lost Lumina and then he could attack with... Or I could have negated and then he could attack over Lumina with that and get an effect. But he did not do it properly, so that's his fault. So it doesn't matter really. And then I don't get to draw again because Garroth does not like me, I'm afraid. Um, I feel like the Lumina Garroth play wouldn't be as good with all the synchro ones too. Because, like, I don't know, you don't really want to go for that turn one anymore. You would want to go for the X, or you want to go for the synchro, right? So maybe Lumina Garroth wouldn't be the best card or combo anymore. It would definitely be good, so I'd probably still run my two Garroth, I don't know. And then Forbidden Money is pretty good on JD, I heard. <laughs> so you can keep your Torrential Tribute. And I figure this is probably going to be Abyss Spear, but I don't really care because JD is really fair in how you can just keep blowing up the field. So that's just wonderful. And he decides just to go for a random card because he didn't want to get out another Megalo or something. He should have went for Lin and got back like Megalo or something, I guess. But yeah, my misplay was that I didn't end up going for game because I miscalculated. <laughs> I went for Laval Chain and then I realized I don't run another wolf. So I just put Necro on top of the deck and then go with that. But if I didn't overlay, I would have been alright, but I decided to overlay because I thought I had another wolf, but I didn't, and I would have had gain if I wouldn't overlaid. So that was very unfortunate, but since I already told you that I only lose one game, you know that I don't lose this one, so yeah. But yeah, he has two salvage in his hand, which is pretty good because that de that card is really stupid. Um, especially when you get to add back all these cards that let you go three plus ones. So you're getting, already getting a plus one, plus you get more plus ones, so... That's nice. <laughs> um, plus, I don't. Really, I have a Lumen as a backup play. It's just I threw in all of my big boss monsters just right out of nowhere because I thought I had game, but I messed it up because yeah, I overlaid. And then I didn't even know that level seven one with the 2700 attack had such a good effect. I did not realize that. And then he makes a big mis misplay because all he had to do was um, banish JD and he won, but he forgot about the Necro Gardener. Because he would have banished uh, Judgment Dragon. I don't know what my next card would My next card was Battle Fader, so I would have been alright, but it would have been another turn into it. So yeah, he messed up badly there. He probably could have beat me there, but he messed up. So I'm going to meet you guys back, and I'm going to show you off a quick um, uh, deck profile. So I'll meet you back in a second. Alrighty, so here's your deck profile. Run a Triple JD, because that's the best card ever. Then BLS, because he's really is the best card ever. And then Elytra Gear Free, because he's not that bad. Then Gores, because save yourself. And then one Wolf, just because I feel like one's the good number. Two, you're not really going to work out too well. Then double Garoth, because I think that's really the good number, because you need that Lumina Garoth turn. Like the Lumina Garoth play turn one is just so dirty, so yeah. And then you got your one Jane, just for a name. Triple Lila, because Pop Backer is pretty good. And then Zephyros, because he's also very good. You saw some of the plays I could do with him. And then Aaron, because get rid of those. Um, Face down monsters and plus it's a name. <laughs> and then Honest because this card's broken as hell. Triple Lumina because yeah, Lumina's so good, should not be at three. And triple Necro Gardener. This card is also really good and you should run into triple no matter what I feel. And then double card trooper because it mills names, plus you get a draw card. Pretty good. Double maxi because I need some type of defense. Double Raiko because evil swarms are assholes. And then a fader because some type of protection. You could put a drag in, but I just don't like it that much. And then triple Valor because it helps this guy, and then yeah, you help yourself. And triple Recharge because yeah, this card is broken as hell. Gold Sark because sorking out for JD, Recharge or Charge is very good. And then a Foolish, I feel like I should cut this, I'll put in something eventually. Um, but yeah, I don't really like Foolish that much. And then a Charge because broken, and then double Lance because no heavy, so you definitely need this card. And the extra deck is just Black Rose because I'm running some tuners, like I'm just running Valor. So you can make random uh, levels here, so that's what I'm just putting in. Black Rose because it's level 7. Psyconductor Behemoth because level 6. And then Armor Medias because level 5. And Catastrophe because level 5. Because level 5 is the main one you'll be going for with um, like Valor plus Lila and Aaron as ever is. Garroth, Wolf, and Jane. So that's one, that's the level you run the most of. And then Ouroboros because it's the answer to... Um, T beetle lock 
then Utopia because it works well with Honest, Pat because it works well with Honest, and then Black Ship because sometimes you need a Dark in the Graveyard for BLS, Diamond Wolf because it gets rid of anything, and then Pella Domino because it gets rid of any monster that's a threat, and it's just so good because even when it's destroyed you get to um, draw a card and you can push for game with this really easily. And then Dijem just because it's a safe card, and it's dark for BLS, and then Laval Chain because it sets up your graveyard so well. And then Cowboy because you can burn him for game, or attack over like BLS or something. Levier just because Lumina into Lumina, and then get back one of your banished cards is really good. And then Zen Mage just for defense. And this really isn't a side deck, I just kind of threw it in there. Um, I'm running the two Thrasher in the side deck because it helps you make Polydomino easily, and it, easily, I mean easier. And then, or it makes you help, helps you make Ouroboros easier. So this card would be really good against like Evil Swarms because, yeah. Plus you can use it with Honest, and it's just an extra summon that you need sometimes. So this guy in the extra deck, would be, or side deck, would be pretty good, I think. And the third Maxi, and this Curry Volt really helps you against the Evil Swarms. Like, if you really need to summon that JD, you just, like, summon this guy, take an attachment off of, um, uh, Ophion, and you can summon your JD, blow up the field, and then you get, uh, more Curry Volts, too. So that's pretty good. You don't even have to use the things, it just, it helps set up the graveyard for Gear Freed. Plus, it just gets rid of the Ophion for you. And then Dark Hole, because some matchups you'll need it. I don't like Dark Hole just because JD does the same thing except it's free. So I don't really feel like... Maybe you can put in Dark Hole over the Foolish, and that would work out for you. But there's never really a chance that I've needed it. So yeah. And then Triple MST because you might need it. And then Double Decree. And then XYZ Encore is what I'm missing, so... Ah, uh, there you go. Put in the Triple XYZ Encore, and you're good. So that's a side deck. And that thing helps against uh, Evil Swarm. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave likes, you know, comments, all that shit, and subscribe for more. And leave some thoughts on the new um, Light Sword and stuff, because I like the new Light Sword and stuff. And Light Swords are pretty good. So yeah, I'm out. Later, guys.